Hi there, and thank you for joining me. My name is Madison Baker, and I'm a customer success manager here at Tailwind. If you're watching this video, it means that you just updated your queue to Publisher 2.0. This video will take a deeper look into the latest features and how it has changed from your current publisher. If you've given us feedback in the past, then you know we take it to heart. All of the updates you'll see in Publisher 2.0 were entirely built from suggestions and ideas from our amazing Tailwind community. So thank you so much. And the best part about all of this is that we created a framework for future releases to encompass even more of your feedback at an even faster pace. There are many upcoming improvements that are now possible because of Publisher 2.0, but this first update focuses on the top three features that we heard most about. So you're going to see things like more controlled but still flexible scheduling with intervals, drag and drop to any time slot, and locking of pins so you can ensure pins don't move while you edit your schedule. And as a bonus, you're going to see information about a mobile scheduling iOS app. And just as a quick side note, if you have not updated your queue, you can do so now by clicking learn more in the blue bar on the top of your screen. So feel free to pause this video and come back to it once you have Publisher 2.0. All right, ready to see Publisher 2.0? Let's see it in action. Okay, so before when you set an interval for a pin, a few things happened. The schedule first pin at time was set for a couple hours into the future. The default interval started at one day, and then the interval pin scheduled as custom pins outside of your time slots. But with Publisher 2.0, we've enhanced these steps by making them more controlled, but still flexible while scheduling. But what does that actually mean? So I've started with a couple of drafts um, that I have a few boards assigned to, and I'm gonna click the use interval button to show you. My schedule first pin at time is actually my first available time slot. And this lets me know that when this interval is added to the queue, the first pin will be inserted directly into that first open time slot. Now from here, we have a few options. You can see that there is a use time slot and exact interval option. The use time slots will add the intervals right into your time slots as you can see here in the preview and the calendar view. Now the exact option will schedule your interval pins at an exact time based on the start time and interval you choose. So for this first pin, I'm going to use the use time slots option. And one of the benefits to this is that I can take advantage of scheduling my pins in an interval setting to spread the content out, as well as making sure that they're posting to my optimized time slots. Next, I'm going to change the interval length to four days just by simply typing in 4D and then click set interval and schedule. And we're good. You can see here that my pins were sent to the schedule inside of my time slots. For draft pin number two, let's try this again and do things a little bit differently. Go ahead and add a few boards and then click use interval. Perfect. The second draft pin took notice that I already used the first time slot. So now this draft scheduled first pin at time is the next available time slot. And even better, the interval setting saved my four day interval length preference. Okay, so for this pin, let's say I have my pinning schedule organized for the next month, but I forgot to post one of my pins that I wanna go out before Easter. If I use my time slot interval option, those pins will be placed at the end of my schedule, but that is after I want them to be posted. So in this case, I can use the exact interval option, set my start time before I would like, and then schedule these pins outside of time slots, which will allow them to be scheduled and published before Easter. Go ahead and set your interval, schedule, and there we go. Now these pins will be set with a clock to signify its custom time and a lock. But wait, you might be asking what locking pins are, and that's actually a new feature in Publisher 2.0. It's used primarily to make sure a pin will not move when you shuffle up your pins. So these Easter pins are already to set to go out before Easter, so I wanna make sure that they don't move when I shuffle my queue, or else I may end up with a few posted after Easter. So by default, all custom scheduled pins and interval pins will be locked. So I can go ahead and shuffle my queue without worrying that these pins will move. Notice how the Easter pins stayed in place. Although interval and custom pins are locked automatically, I can unlock an interval pin just like this. Go ahead and click bottom right. And I can also lock any other pin in its place. All you have to do is hover over the bottom and click bottom left. It's locked, now unlocked, and now it's locked again. This is a really easy way to ensure that you have control over your pins when editing your schedule. 
Speaking of rearranging your schedule, you're already familiar with being able to drag and drop scheduled pins within other scheduled pins, but that was about it. You couldn't drag a pin into the future, and that was probably one of the most talked about feature requests that we heard. So with Publisher 2.0, you're able to add all your pins to your queue and then reorder just by dragging and dropping, rather than needing to customize the time for each pin manually. So let's take a look. So I scheduled this pin here, but I wanna move it to a future date to coincide with a new blog post that will be going out in about a week after its initial scheduled to post date. So go ahead and click and drag the pin down here and the pin drops into the new time slot. Now we'll go out with my new blog post. I can also move this pin within other pins so it will publish sooner. With the exception of locked pins that will not move, the already scheduled pins will rearrange around the new pin I just dropped here. When I say you can drag and drop any pin, I mean it, even locked pins. Locked pins will not move when you shuffle or rearrange other pins, but you do have the flexibility to drag and drop them without unlocking. Last but not least, let's talk about the mobile app. Updating your queue to Publisher 2.0 also gave you access to her brand new Tailwind scheduling app for iOS. Schedule pins from around the web and Pinterest app itself, manage your queue, and discover personalized content recommendations all while on the go. You can copy and paste this link in your browser, then click Get iOS App to get started. And there you have it. Here at Tailwind, we are incredibly passionate about creating tools to help you be a world-class marketer. Our latest and upcoming releases to Publisher 2.0 are just an example of how much that means to us. In fact, this update is equally exciting for us um, as it is for you guys because this update lays the foundation for a ton of awesome features in the future. But if you didn't see the feature that you're most hoping for, please write us here at help at tailwindapp.com. We would love to hear from you. Also, thank you again so much for joining me and hope to hear from you soon. Happy pinning.